ingredient that helps block the cholesterol in the butter. And try Smart Balance Blended Butter Sticks for baking. This was me too, but no one seemed to be on to me. Acting like a church kid while addicted to pornography. See, on Sunday I'd go to church, but Saturday getting faded, acting if I was simply created to just have sex and get wasted. See, I spent my whole life building this facade of neatness, but now that I know Jesus, I boast in my weakness. That's a pretty uh, unusual statement for most people who've never read the Bible, that you boast in your weakness. I mean, the whole point about being an American is I'm strong, I'm tough, I'm, yeah. I can beat everybody up. What do you mean by you boast in your weakness? Yeah, I mean, the Apostle Paul says that in, in the letter to the Corinthians where he talks about when you have Jesus as your standing, Jesus is the one representing you when you're a Christian, and he's the one kind of representing you on your behalf to the Father. Um, you can boast in your weakness and you can be free to fail because you're not the one representing yourself. And so there should be Christians to some degree should be the most transparent and the most vulnerable people on earth because we're the only ones who don't represent ourselves. Did you uh, come to... Uh, an awareness of your own personal faith and relationship to Christ late in life, or yeah. was this something you had as a kid? Yeah, so I mean, I kind of grew up and had the, the cultural idea of Christianity, which I think a lot of people do in America, yeah. um, but God really got a hold of my heart in college, which is why actually, um, you know, poetry is not my full-time job. What I do back home is I actually, we just planted and launched a college ministry um, in the Tacoma area, and that's why, is because God kind of got a hold of me then, and so I kind of want to go back to that, the, the campuses in the area and say, hey, this is why he's so awesome, and this is why he's better than maybe some of those other things that are calling you in college. Jeff, I can understand how uh, this would really touch people who are college and, and, yeah. and younger people, yeah. but has it been provocative to the point that people are mad at you? Have people criticized you because of what you said? Yeah, totally, totally. Um, there's been some, some staunch criticism, obviously. Um, Where does it come from? From religious people? or Yeah, I mean, it comes from everywhere, and, yeah. and that's, the, that's the hard part is I have to take the criticism. I have to say, okay, what, is, what am I getting criticism for just because I'm a Christian and Jesus said the same thing? And what am I getting criticism for because I'm just being an idiot and saying something stupid, right? <laughs> and so, and so um, that's a tough tension, though, to sit yeah. in prayer and say, um, hey, Jesus, am, is this because of I'm just representing you, or can I get better? Can I learn? Can I grow here? Mm. What's your long-term goal? What do you want to do with these uh, YouTube videos? I mean, yeah. uh, look, 22 million hits puts you in the stratosphere. <laughs> so, I mean, it really does. I'm up there with Rebecca Black and exactly. trying to get my finger and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah but let me tell you, your yeah. message is much better than Rebecca Black's <laughs> song was ever going to be. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, obviously, you, you, you've struck a nerve with yeah. people. Tell me what you hope to achieve long term. Yeah, long term goal is just a. I have a huge heart for discipleship. I think sometimes we can, you know, get people to raise their hand for Jesus, and we can make cool videos. But um, my heart is to really infect and impact the college demographic, to then be able to make disciples that go all across the nation and just infect them with His grace. You know, I commend you because it's so uh, unique and uh, fresh and original to hear someone taking on all the institutions, including that of organized religion, but not being against it, just being for it to be authentic. Yeah. And I think all of us want that. Jeff, it's a real delight to have you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much.